Hey guys. Well, people ask me all the time, why Montepulciano? Why Southern Tuscany? And this is one reason. You know, the wine here, of course, is world famous. We're at Poliziano right now, Poliziano Winery. They make a lot of bottles. It's kind of a more commercial place, but I mean, the wine was fabulous. Every single wine I had was, was fabulous. And the guy running the place is excellent. Um, <clears throat> One thing I've noticed that I wanted to bring up, and this video is actually about art. Uh, it's about the art that we're buying for uh, the apartment that we're doing. Uh, it's about my art dealer's uh, collection, and uh, we're buying stuff that's really nice, not too expensive. And uh, we're uh, out here today, my little sister's visiting from, from America, and uh, we came out here. I wanted to show them this place. And uh, one thing I've noticed as we're touring around the last couple of days is that everybody's talking about how busy it's going to be this year and we're at the end of february right now it's in the 20 22nd of february uh 2023 and uh everyone's talking about their bookings how they're booked how they've never had people making reservations so much for july and august you know six months out and everything you read is about how busy things are going to be and this brings up a very important point um you need to decide, are you buying a property that's just going to be a generational property that you want to keep for yourself and you're just going to come and enjoy it yourself, you're not trying to rent it? Or are you buying a property that is going to be something that you want to keep part-time, use part-time, and rent part-time? Because it's two very, very, very different things. So if it's just for you, you can pick anywhere, anywhere in Italy. You can find nice properties and good food and good wine. I don't care if it's Sicily up to Piedmont you can find nice stuff. If you're looking for something that's very rentable, you have a much smaller footprint where you can be buying stuff. Cities like, I think, Treviso, Verona, Lucca, uh, outside of Florence, but near Florence, unless you have a ton of money, then you can be right in Florence. Uh, Montepulciano, Montecino, San Gimignano. Um, these are the kind of cities that have enough tourist uh, coming through that you can easily rent out property. So that's something you really need to figure out because if you think you're going to buy a $1 property in Sicily and then be able to rent it all the time and have it pay for itself, you're, you're fooling yourself because they're $1 properties for a reason. They're kind of vacant towns. They're trying to repopulate it and you're not going to get people coming through a lot that want to rent it. You might rent it some, but you're not going to rent it all the time. So these are things you need to really figure out and be honest with yourself because this is your money and it's not easy to do. Take it from me. I spent the last almost a year trying to put places together and we're still not renting them out yet. So think about it. Think what your goals are and then you can decide what area you want to be and what type of property you want and what you can afford because you can afford a lot more if you can find one that's in a place where you can rent it out part of the time. So things to think about. Now let's go see some art because I got some great stuff to show you guys. All right. Ciao.
good morning guys well it was such a neat morning out i thought i'd add this to the video so uh look at the wow that's just fabulous it's gonna start raining in a couple days maybe even tomorrow here it's been dry for a couple weeks and we can always use the rain it's great to have it in the soil but look at the the clouds and the fog and the everything's so pretty in the old town up above us anyway uh so that's the stuff in my apartment. Uh, now we're gonna head over to my designer's house and we're gonna take a look at all the stuff that she's put into this one, one bedroom, one bath with a kitchen and a living room Airbnb that she has and see how she's decorated that one. And that's kind of the way that this one will be going. Maybe not quite so much stuff, uh, but uh, you know, we're not quite finished here. But let's run over there and see uh, what she has because you're gonna be absolutely amazed. All right, let's go. I hope you guys thought that was fun. I thought it was a lot of great art. Uh, the kind of things here that are available and not everything's super expensive. And there's tons of markets and crafts fairs and antiques fairs, stuff you can go and pick up little this, little of that, old antique stores and, and lots of different towns. So 
uh, when you're putting your place together, make sure you go out and search around. It's a lot of fun. Uh, grab some wine, go grab some art, and uh, enjoy yourself. Or maybe you'll get lucky and meet a really good designer that's a professional collector like, like I met, and she can get you really great deals. All right, so that's it for today. We'll talk to you guys soon. Uh, heading up to Luca to do some new videos, and those should be on shortly. So thanks a lot for watching, and don't forget, if you have questions, write me at bradsworld8 at gmail.com, and I'm always happy to respond uh, and take care. Bye.